Welcome to another Spiral Knights gear demonstration, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Grand Faust. Never mind that curse symbol above my head, we'll actually be touching more on that a little bit later. Right now, let's take a look at some of the details on this sword, though. So, right off the bat, you can see that the Grand Faust has two very vibrant pink layers around the middle of the sword, with the innermost one kind of having a vibration effect. We also have two purplish eyes around the base there, and at the bottom of the sword we have a purple sash. So overall this is a very unique look in Spiral Knights, and those vibrant pink colors really make the sword stand out in all the environments in the game. Now let's take a look at the sword's basic and charge attacks. So the Grand Faust basic attack is comprised of two swipes, and the second swipe actually spins our character around as you can see right here. So that is a really cool effect. And then for the charge attack, we actually send off a huge version of the Faust. As you can see, it shoots off there, and then we get a nice pink explosion at the end. Now, let's actually uh, send that off again, but in slow motion, so you can get a better look at the effects on this. It's actually pretty cool. As you can see, the sword kind of hangs in midair briefly, and then it shoots off. And at the end of the path, we get that nice pink explosion. Now, we did get cursed again, and I'll be covering that later on in the video. Before we do that, let's take a closer look at some of the stats and features. So, it's important to know that the Grand Faust deals both normal and shadow damage, so this is a split damage weapon, and you can also deal the curse status with the second hit of your basic attack and your charge attack. The charge attack can also deal the curse status to your character though, so we'll take a closer look at that in the last clip of our field test. In the first clip here, let's actually look at the sword's knockback, which is pretty powerful, especially the second hit here. As you can see, it sends the Wolver all the way back into that corner. And this power also comes in extremely handy in Lockdown, and you've probably come across the Grand Faust in Lockdown more than a couple times because it is a favorite amongst a lot of Lockdown players. Now let's actually take a closer look at that curse status, which I've been mentioning this whole video. And as you can see, my character has that curse symbol above his head, and that means that every time I attack, I'm going to take damage. So, say if I just swing my sword here, no enemies really around me, it kills me off. And that same damaging effect also applies to enemies that are cursed, so if they try to attack you or heal themselves, they'll also take damage. Now, if you're interested in getting the Grand Faust, you'll first need to get your hands on the 3-star version, which is the Sealed Sword, and you can pick up your Sealed Sword from Brinks, the Token Trader, for 20 Jelly Gems. And you can collect your Jelly Gems by completing the 5-2 mission, the Sovereign Slime, and defeating the Jelly King. So, once you have the Sealed Sword, you can then take that to the 4-star version, which is the Faust, and then you can take your 4-star Faust to the 5 and final star version, the Grand Faust. Thanks so much for watching this video, hopefully you learned a thing or two about the Grand Faust, and I'll see you guys in Spiral Nights.